Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'm as awkward as Theresa May dancing. <laughs> hey. Hi, I'm Karina, and I don't like aubergine because it's too squidgy. Karina's also said she don't like aubergine in a podcast. I really don't like aubergine. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping it. Oh no! Wait. <laughs> That's not all I am. <laughs> Karina is an aubergine hater. I've got to hate it so much. <laughs> so much that she said it in podcast episode two. Oh yeah, because I mentioned the emoji. Yeah, right. God, I'm disgustingly predictable. Drop it low. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And that is how you drop it low. <laughs> I'm old hat now. You're going to trade me out and get a brand new model, aren't you? I am, yeah. I am. This is Karina with a K. <laughs> K-A-Rina, not Corinna. <laughs> the amount of times people get my name wrong. Corinna. So, <clears throat> polyamory, a.k.a. polyfidelity, open relationships, relationship anarchy. Relationship anarchy. Right, it's like, fuck the rules. I don't need no rules. Relationship anarchy. On that note, though, right. we're quite complex now. We're Sorry. like a real complex society. Oh, yeah. Like, we're quite complex beings. It's anarchy compared to the heteronormative, you know, man, woman, nuclear family, isn't it? Yeah. I so think... it is anarchy in that sense. But not nowadays. No. Because, you know, we're living in the now. Because hey. the nuclear family, the heterosexual relationship, is all sort of been built around capitalism. And just to clarify, nuclear family is two children, wife, husband. Yeah. Yeah. And pretty, before pretty that, simple. it was like generational. You live yeah, with yeah. your grandparents, you yeah. live with your aunties and uncles. Yeah, weird, isn't it? But then they changed it since mm. the industrial period, since... Yeah. The uh, capitalism, because that model... Willy Wonka times, <laughs> where you live with your seven grandparents in the same bed. Oh, Right, so Grandpa cute. Joe, not seven, there's four of them. But you get the idea. Grandpa that Joe. did happen, didn't it? Yeah, Weird. yeah, yeah. Weird. I did, and that was just normal. Do you know what I always think in that film, though? What? That bed must stink. Mate, when you said it, that's exactly what I thought. Right? I'm thinking, like, ugh. Of we. They haven't changed their pyjamas in a while. Probably. Probably. They probably can't be asked. And they don't get out of bed. No, ever. I mean, the reality... Imagine the bed sores. The reality is quite bleak. Isn't it? Maybe it's Charlie Bucket because they use a bucket to piss in. Right? Oh. No? Maybe. Yeah. I reckon so. <laughs> but then Roald Dahl would write that, wouldn't he? He would write that they stank. Yeah, Roald, Roald Dahl is very have not, dark. Have you not read the twits? Amazing, best book George's Marvelous Medicine actually kills his grandma. <laughs> right? Good, yeah. she's a bitch. But, right? I know, it's so dark. <laughs> she's not really. But it's great. The witches. I love Roald Dahl. Oh, I do. So good. Yeah. Did so you ever go to Roald Dahl? No. His house? No. He didn't invite me, did he? Bastard. I don't know. I wanted to go around for dinner, but he's like, no, Aaron, I'm busy. I'm like, fuck I'm you, Roald. Roald's busy, Aaron. Ronald. It's his real name. Is it really? Mm, just got rid of the N. <laughs> it is. Roald is Ronald, I believe. I don't know why you got rid of the end. Roll, yeah, roll. Mm. Oh, Rolled. Mind blown. Right. Ronald. Ronald Dahl. Ronald Dahl. Not yeah, it's shit. a bit much, isn't it? A bit shit. God. Roll Dahl. God. Ugh. 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 Just ugh. Still. Ugh. What's your favourite one? The, the twits. Yeah. Yeah? So sinister. I love, I love all the stuff that's in his beard. Hilarious. Yeah. It's really gross, but it's Oh, hilarious. do you know what really me in the twits when they said that you could you could have buck teeth and goggly eyes, and uh, <laughs> but if you had a good soul, you would always be beautiful. Yes. But if you had a bad soul, you were ugly. You didn't and, it, and it would, ju you, it would just rot your face. It radiates from your out. eyes, and it's really sweet. That was nice, wasn't that it? That was cute. Because oh, Karina's beautiful, even though she has buck teeth and bulgy eyes. eyes. But she's alright. And stuff in my beard. But she's lovely. Yeah. Lovely Karina. Yeah. She's beautiful. Don't talk to me about beard. I've She's beautiful. Oh no. Oh, I found. Can you see it? Do you know what I found what? this morning? No, yesterday. Well, last night. A grey. Recently. Beard. Well, I do have grey hairs under my dyed hair. A couple oh. already. Oh. Like fuck that. Not oh, just hair. you're fine. It just randomly switches off sometimes. Yeah, I think it was because I was stressed. Yeah. But I'm fine now. But anyway, back to the subject. 
my nose hairs are long now. Oh. Like, and I don't want to, tw- like, tweeze them. Can't you get one of those things that you just... My dad's got one. It's expensive, and, isn't and it? And you just put it in and no. it cuts them down. Ugh. Like a tiny little, little clipper. Thing. No, clipper. Oh. No. So you just trim it. Ooh. But yeah, I feel, I feel really gross. At least I haven't got ear hair. No offence to ear hair, people. But gross. I mean, it's something that you <laughs> might get. It will happen, I know it will. My dad's got hairy ears. Yeah, it's going to happen to me. And a fluffy neck. Mate, I've got a fluffy face. Like, a, like an older fuzz. lady. Yeah. Did you know dermablading is a thing? What is dermablading? Where women shave their face. What? YouTube it. Why? Because it gets rid of dead skin. But it doesn't grow back. It's hair, obviously. I don't understand. Why yeah. are women shaving their faces now? Is it not enough that we are... No, no. That... Not because of the hair. Because of the dead it's skin. It's good for the dead skin. And you're not going to grow hair back because you're not genetically made to have a beard. Unless you're older. Some old ladies do have beards. So I'm not supposed to have fur on my face? No, you're not peach fuzz, but it gets rid of peach fuzz. Peach fuzz is different to beard hair. Oh. You are a peach. I am... You're a peach. I am a peach You're a peachy peachy. Oh, I am. I'm, hot. I'm that hot that I do look like a peach right now. Yeah, you do actually. A furry little peach. Furry little peach. Oh, I love peaches, although I don't really like the skin. It makes me go... Really? Yeah, it's a furry. <laughs> furry. I don't like it. Make sure you like what, Karina? Can you just do it to the mic, please? That's gross. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so, what's the uh, assumptions and misconceptions about polyamory? Um, Top your edge. So, jealousy issues. Jealousy issues. Yeah. CD swinger situation. Yeah. Then you've got like misogynistic so the men are in control that's a m- massive like one. polyamory is really just geared for men with like mormons and muslims and that kind so of thing so it's like one man many wives that's a misconception isn't it mm. it might be accurate it probably is and it is with in some, um, some some not all some muslim men mm-hmm. um and the muslim countries they will have multiple wives mm. but it's not as common in the western world is it? No. 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 So, that's an interesting one, and yeah, mm, it's fascinating. It's fascinating to me. I don't know, like, why. I just don't understand how polyamory works in terms of just the numbers. Yeah. So if it's just if it's one man to many wives, mm. is it that there's more women, or will there be men who just don't get married? What do you mean, like share with me kind of thing? Yeah. Like you've taken on the woman. So like if it was like a micro society, right? And there was five men and five women. Yeah, and the man took with the woman. Yeah, and there was and multiple wives. So two gay, could obviously. have two. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, the only gay. way. Dare just match up with what's left. You'll do. You've got a hole. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no! I didn't think that was. Oh, no. That was cool. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, and just in terms of the numbers. Yeah, it's... One, someone's going to have to go without. Right. Or... No, so the people with all the wives and people uh, with n- no wives. It's true. But you're forgetting the world's a big place. Mm-hmm. If you're single, you're single for a reason, probably. All right. <laughs> I'm drunk. Pointed look at the single ten. <laughs> I'm, I'm single too, technically. Technically. So, anyway, um, we've also got not equal one-sided. Um, is there a schedule? Yeah, <laughs> like, who shares what? Like, you know, is, is Fiona going to be Tuesday to Thursday? And then Sharon comes down on a Friday to finish off the weekend. But then, Friday to Sunday? And then the mon- Monday. Monday, no, Monday is day off for him. Because Colin gets tired. And then Tuesday. What's he doing? Um, I think he's just having some time away from women for a while. Oh. I think he's got too many but women in his life. Is it that, <laughs> do people in normal relationships do that? I don't know, I was joking. Oh. I don't think they do. They must If do. you're married, you're stuck with them. I would. Oh, yeah. Just be nice. Okay, so your parents. Yeah. Do they have time away from each other? Yeah. So they need about them taking a weekend away from you. You're doing their head No, no. But they do it in, like, short amounts of time. So my right. mum will go and see Ali or dad will go to the pub. Or oh, yeah, that's fine. That kind of thing. Yeah. But if there's two of you to spread your time over... Maybe he does need a whole day to himself. Right. 
That's what I'm thinking. Oh, let's see what Chow's saying. Yeah. Mm hmm So, what about... So, yeah, schedule. I don't know if there is a schedule. Yeah. There's no way we can find out either. Is there a primary wife? Ooh. Our favourite one? See, that's the thing. Favouritism and jealousy. Mm-hmm. Is that a thing? It has to be. Is it a normal human... Well... Yeah. Feeling. Some people don't get jealous. Well, that was that yeah. man, wasn't there? I can't who remember. Who approached me on the internet. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. On the dating Explain. website. Explain. So, I was dating website and a man approached me and said, I'm going to, this full disclosure, I'm married, but we have had a discussion about having a polyamorous relationship. He said this wouldn't be about just sex. Uh, it would be a full-blown relationship, full intimacy with me um, but I happen just to be married. <sighs> and he said, if there's, which which actually for me was quite interesting. He said, if there's any questions at all you want to ask me, just ask me. And you should have. And I was like, hey, no, I did. Oh, you did. Oh, yes. And I said, Ooh. hey, thanks Ooh. for being really honest. Yeah. Um, but I don't think I could get into a relationship like that because I'm I'm really jealous. And he said, and that's fine. The way that they would deal with it is complete openness mm -hmm. and honesty. And they would talk about it. Yeah, perfect. Um, so, in that sense, almost, a polyamorous relationship is almost more open than more a monogamous trusting. one. You've got to be more trusting, more open. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to go fuck Sharon now. See you later, Fiona. <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> is, that, is that what it is? I don't think... <laughs> I think it would be. You've got to be open. I mean, <laughs> what? I don't think it would be that. You know what you're it signing up for. It would be that brash. You know what you're signing up for. So if we were in a relationship, and <laughs> right. I was also in a, in a relationship with, say, Colin. Colin. What the hell? You mentioned Colin earlier, I remember. Did we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Colin's exist Colin exists, exists in this world already, so. Oh, cool. It's not a weird coincidence, don't worry. I thought that was really cool. Okay, sorry, it was really cool. Shut up. So, Colin. I'm, I'm seeing you and Colin. We all know about one another. Yeah, yeah. Colin's That's great. Cool. Are you seeing Colin too? Um, no, no, I'm no. not seeing Colin. So I'm no. the... Right, so I'm the... But I am seeing Fiona and Sharon. Right. At the same time. So Oh, so now this mm. is branching out yeah, into... Yeah, it's a, a massive tree. Tree. And I know about Fiona and Sharon. Yeah, of course you do. And you know about... Well, like, how do you get two and I get one? I've got three. I've got you. Oh, yeah. forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I'd be so great in a polyamorous and, and relationship. Apparently, I'm really straight in this scenario. <laughs> You're super straight. So straight. Not with three even, wives. I'm not even trying out. <laughs> not even going to the other by side. So, I, <laughs> so would I. Would it be separate though? Because Ooh. my I was talking to my cousin. Yeah, I might. I might be a bit curious and go for Colin. Because I was talking to my cousin about this. All right. And one of her favourite authors, who I forget the name of. She's in a polyamorous relationship. She's in a relationship with a married couple and they all sleep mm. in the same bed together. Ooh. How was that? She, so they're all in a relationship all together. Hmm. That's a frapple. Yeah. A frapple. A frapple. See, yeah. I would imagine that I would keep your life separate from mine. So Colin would be like a distant thing that but, I don't worry about. But is that just a hetero way of think? Hetero. Maybe. A, a monogamous way of thinking of it. Oh, I suppose it is. Are you are you pigeonholing Ooh, I am. polyamory into monogamy? I am. Mm. How do I do that? This I'm not made for this polyamory stuff. What if it's what not if in my nature? Colin and I have a Colin and I and you and me mm. have a threesome. A <laughs> so I good. Oh, what were you Colin doing? For? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm I'm having sex with you and yeah. I'm having sex with Colin. Are you getting but tested? we are in. Button. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Obviously, regularly. <laughs> um, safety first, everyone. Safety first, guys. Uh, but you know of each other. Yeah. Wouldn't it be lovely mm. if I have a full blown, fully invested, emotional, sexual relationship with both of you? Oh, we'd have to know about each other. But you and Colin are also mates. That'd be nice. Wouldn't it? That'd be great. We've got to find a Colin. And I might have an experiment, experiment with Colin every now and then. Yeah, I've had a few drinks. You wouldn't mind, would you? Getting comfy. Yeah. No. That sounds great. Doesn't it? Should we go just. What do you think? You... <laughs> do you think that you have the emotional capacity for it, though? No, I haven't. Like, do you think that you actually don't have a natural. Because I would get capacity? jealous of you and Colin. 
But what if we talked about it? See, I don't and know, it, it might was be all better. open. Probably, probably, and we put all our fears aside. It might be, might be better. Because I don't know about you, but in, if you, you, I don't compare my relationships. Yeah, obviously. they're incomparable. I suppose you don't do. You don't compare your friendships to other friendships. No. There's not one time I ever go, oh, do you know what? Jess is really much better at this than you. Mm. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, Jess. How Jessie. dare you? Um, She's, you're so lying. why would it be but, like... You know, how dare you? Would you compare... You're lying. Because <laughs> I've had exes before and I've never, and they've been completely different. Completely yeah, I suppose. Completely different. But I've never, com- I've never no, compared you don't, you don't, them or no. thought one was better than the other. I've enjoyed them for I mean, their differences. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty awful. You'd still worry. Not worry. It's not a worrying thing. It's literally just comparing. You, yeah. So you'd. So like you'd, this guy's body is different to the other guy's body, kind of thing. But if you think in your head of all the people you slept with. Mm. Done. Done. That was easy. There, but you haven't you haven't compared them and said, "Oh, I like this better than the other." Taking away uh, the ones that have hurt you. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, the so they're all had... nice relationships. Yeah. No, I haven't done that. No, because you appreciate them... Uh, for what they are. H- and what they gave for me. who they are. Yeah, and what they gave me. Right? Yeah. They're, not, they're not comparable. Because I mean, they can't be for me, because I like men and women. So comparing a man's woman, woman is very different. You can't do it. Exactly. So it's a similar thing, yeah. Yeah. They're a different entity. Nice word. Oh, completely different, aren't they? So maybe there is. Maybe... We're missing a trick here. Hmm. Maybe society has made, you know, you see all of our lives, Hmm. we've seen heteronormative relationships, monogamous hetero relationships. (laughs) It's plastered everywhere. Oh, yeah. Isn't it? It is, yeah. It's on TV, TV, adverts, everything. Everything, yeah. Just anything in the media, Mm. and that's all such a. Now it's changing. History. History. That's probably why. All the famous books, any yeah. literature, like it's mm. no apart from Gentleman Jack, have you been watching that? No. Hello. That's pretty good. You need to watch Doesn't that. Doesn't she like sniff her fingers quite a bit? What's this just think oh no, no. I think I saw a clip of it and she wiped her fingers on the bed sheet. Yeah, she did. Gross. <laughs> it's kinda of sexy but gross. It's fine. But Someone else is gonna clean those sheets. That's true. That's fine then. And then she recorded the time it took to make her Yeah. Climate. So that, yeah, uh, apparently that's what she does. That's hmm. what she used to do. That, that's Quite why her diaries are so famous, because she literally oh. wrote everything down. I need to read these diaries. They sound interesting. Yeah, I've downloaded them already. Have you? Yeah, I'm going to read them. Awesome. Saran Jones, though. Hello. She's great. She's gorgeous. She's amazing. She's great. She's a very good actress. Yeah, I, I, need, to watch, I need to watch it. But... Oh, television recommendation. You're welcome. Hey, gentlemen, Jim. But yeah, things are changing. But oh, do yeah, you think, are. actually, if you were brought up in a society where polyamory is normal... You would have the capacity to love more than one person. I'm going to answer that in a couple minutes. Well, you thought about it. Do you know why? Why? Because it's the first of a series. Do you know what it is? What? It's a Bev's Corner. Oh, oh. yeah. Who is Bev? My mama. There we go. She gave me life. <laughs> I will be always thankful for that. Yeah. <laughs> and also, um, she makes me laugh. Here we are. Here's Bev's Corner. Right. Hello, Mother. Hello, Corina. Can you state your name, please? My name is Beverly. And can you confirm that you birthed me? I did. I remember it. I was there. (laughs) What was the best bit about birthing me? When Katie was born. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, no, no, there were some good bits about birthing you. Um, I liked it when they didn't know if my waters had gone or if you had a very soft head. That was cute. <laughs> that doesn't sound cute. Liked it after. That sounds horrendous. <laughs> um, so basically, the purpose of this is to ask you questions. 
Right. That was impromptu. I didn't actually mean to talk about my birth. It's a oh. bit egotistical, isn't it? Of me. My mum, my birth, my podcast. No, not really, because you wasn't really involved in the event of being born. It I kind of sh- happened. Shoved out, probably against my own will. Definitely. <laughs> I don't think he was desperate to, to pop into the world, so... <laughs> pop into the world. <laughs> now, Ben's Corner was brilliant. It was. <laughs> what a treat. Great. What a treat to my ears. I don't know what it was. Well, I'm sure it was great. Yeah, it You edited great. it. I have edited she it. She spoke it. She did it. I put I music behind it. I asked questions. It was a good laugh. She's wonderful. <laughs> well done, Beth. God, I love you. Beth. Yeah, we, we kind of mentioned Bev every podcast, so we thought, let's put her in a podcast. Damn, yeah, we Done. did. Done, And it's the best decision we ever made. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> Don't let me down, Bev. Don't I mean, Mum. Audience. <laughs> you better like it. So, yeah, if, it, if polyamory was more accepted in the world, I think, and, yeah, as you said, if you explained everything to them. It was, if you, it was really if you think about it, that there's three people in it, but then it's completely and utterly open. Mm. No secrets, no, no talking behind your back. Kind of great. Well, actually, this sounds like that a, sounds amazing. Like a lovely relationship utopia. Yeah, I mean, being bi slash pan sexual. Episode nine. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I could appreciate a man and a woman mm. together. That'd be great. Get the best. It's different for you, isn't it? Words. Because you you. Chilling up, take it slow. Let me rock at the show. Sorry. I don't know that song. Hannah Montana, mate. What? Get the best of both worlds. Sorry. Karina's doing the robot right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, what were you saying? <laughs> Sorry. But for you, you could have a full relation, a full mm-hmm. emotional relationship. Because I see them differently. Mm-hmm. Like, I behave differently in a male relationship and a female relationship. I find. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, it's weird. I find that I can be, that I like to be, this is my inner misogynist coming out. Here like he be, comes. Here he comes. I'm not a misogynist. I'm all for feminism and equal rights and all that. But um, I like to be, if the woman likes it as well, I like to be dominant in the female relationship, but enjoy mm-hmm. being submissive in the male relationship. Why is that? I like being a bitch. I don't know what it is. Mm. No idea. I think I like to be looked after. I mean, I think if a a woman were to look after me, it would feel maternal and weird. I think that's what it is. And maybe because I've got daddy issues. That's what it is. Daddy issues. Oh, hello. There we are. Revelation. Can we say it? With a massive list. Did you hear that whistle? Yeah, it was great. (laughs) Revelation. Revelation. Not to be confused with revolution. No. Not start a revolution on dads now. Ugh. Ugh. Some of them are brilliant. They are. All dads are, well, most dads. Hi, dad. Are. Love you. I know you're not listening. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to burp. Um, okay. <coughs> Do you want... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were going to do that delicately while I just spoke I tried. <laughs> I really tried. I think you literally went burp as you burped. I tried. Tried to... Okay. Not, tried to... Not burp. Okay. It just came out. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, so the definition of polyamorous Mm -hmm. is characterised by or involved in the practice of engaging in multiple sexual relationships with the consent consent of all people involved. Yep. So another thing, another misconception, is to avoid commitment and in quotes, official cheating. So obviously you're cheating, saying, I'm in an open relationship, but I won't tell my partner. (laughs) Oh. You could use that to cheat. Wow. But that's just seedy and gross. And that's we're not, horrible. We're not going to justify that with an expla- explanation, are we? No. Karina's done that. That is she a hasn't, she hasn't. She hasn't. <laughs> the there was the one pot. time I had a boyfriend and I went out and a uh, guy from school who was there. Yeah. We were talking and, and then he was like, oh, I live near you. We got a taxi together. Mm. And then um, he kissed me, and then I cried because I thought I cheated. Oh. But then I realised actually I didn't cheat because he, it wasn't really a kiss; it was more of a headbutt. 
So, oh, I mean, it. it meant I had really no control over that. And I was drunk and my reflexes, my reflexes weren't as They're pretty good. bad now, anyway. Mate, when I'm sober, absolutely shocking. <laughs> <laughs> See? Awful. Can't protect yourself. I've got no self-awareness. No. Yeah. So. Yeah, spatial awareness. Self-awareness. Or self-awareness. Ooh. You know, aware of my surroundings. Spatial awareness. Self-awareness. Am I self-aware? No. Tell me, Aaron. <laughs> Tell me all you know. Um, yeah. I am self-aware. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's got really meta. <laughs> I know. Got really intense, then, isn't it? So, these are statistics that I could find from 2016. Only 2016? In the UK, because, yeah. There wasn't anything... Nothing recently. Recent. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. But that might be me not researching properly. Maybe. But six is an upside down nine, so we're fine. <laughs> okay, so 4,062 people, poly identified people, I like that phrase, poly identified, oh. are um, known as poly, and they're aged 16 to 92. Oh, wow. Mm. That is nearly the whole spectrum of human consent. Life. Everyone is consenting at that age. Yep. Pretty much. Yeah, but... Nothing illegal. Do you reckon there are poly relationships under 16? I mean, I doubt you have a concept of that at that point. No. I'm surprised a 16-year-old has a concept of a poly relationship. It's quite, quite, um... Intense? Not intense. It's quite complex. Do you think... For a 16-year-old to understand. I think anything at that age, when you're... When you're just going through... Oh, you change so much. When you're going through it... Anything for the Ugh. first time at, at 16. Because that's when you start going through things you have no idea. Yeah. As you get older, you don't panic as much because no. you've, you've been there, you've done that. But when yeah. you're 16, you haven't Everything's done first. So imagine being in a poly relationship that young. That'd be messed up. But then I'd, but I identified as heterosexual at 16. Same, actually. So Same. I had real, real clarity about what I was interested yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. True. So maybe 16... Hmm. Maybe 16 is fine. You You're going to make the same yeah. mistakes, obviously. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Seems quite intense. Why? Because you have to have a mature... You've got to be mature for it. I think. But you have to be mature to have a relationship. Yeah, but we weren't when we were younger. Exactly. So why, what does, so why does polyamory... Yeah, the same, yeah. true. Why is that different to... You still mess up. To monogamy. That's true. I'm assuming these are successful. Ah. Uh. Oh, no. Yeah. These aren't sitting. Again, yeah. you're separating them. Oh. Like you're... Ooh. Compartmentalising. Them yeah. Okay. But actually, they're more or less the same. So, surprisingly, in these this 4,062 poly-identified poly people, mm -hmm. there are more women. I can... I totally get that. Oh, yeah. More I wives. totally get that. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. That's not surprising, actually. Do you think that's what it means? Because I didn't, I didn't think that's what it meant. It, we don't know, and you could be completely right. Yeah, I think but it's more wives. do you think wives. it's that more I think, women yeah. are, or do you think that more women are more open about no, who they love? No, I think it's more, more women are part of the relationship. But they all, but they, these people identify as polyamorous. Yeah. Meaning that, does it mean that they, oh, yeah, them, they the, love the, more the, than one person? That's true. Of course they do, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Not just in a relationship. So, um, yeah, so it's 49.5% are women. And a half of them women are bisexual. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Yeah. And then 35.4% are men. Oh, okay. And uh, only a fifth of them are bisexual. So I think it seems so, like the men yeah. are doing it to be have more wives. That's what it seems like. And then like. the wives are connected. Because yes, of the bisexuality. Yes, there we go. So I think it is a more of a male controlled thing that's what it seems like I'm not saying it is mm. in my opinion it seems mm. like it is because this is in UK so I'm assuming it's religion based mm. maybe but, um, and then 15.1% are non-binary nice yeah 15 15.1 oh quite a lot isn't it that is a lot in 2016 yeah. It's quite a lot. And as a country, we have developed quite a bit since then. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. So, yeah. For sure. And at least 25.8% have experienced discrimination. That's quite a low number. Who? But. 
that is saying that they are open about their polyamory. That's true. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Someone's just turned the extractor fan on in the bathroom. It's fine. We're going to wrap up soon anyway. Yeah, we're exciting. wrapping this up. Because we are tired. I'm a little bit tired. We are struggling, aren't we? A little bit. No, we're not. We're this fine. is good broadcasting. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't show the weakness. Fine. Yeah. So, we also... Actually, we are near the end. So, um, we looked into three Brazilian brides, didn't we? We did. Karina fell in love with them. I did. They were pretty fab. On my notes, it says, pretty fabulous. Yeah. They're, they're pretty fabulous. I mean, they, this in fairness, they were actresses from a telenovela. Oh, yes. Because they, they so it happened in real life in Brazil. Mm -hmm. And then they popped it into a telenovela. Oh, yeah, they did. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, mm. this is not the first instance no. of a uh, Well, it's the second. Thruple. It's the second. Yeah. Um, the first one, I believe, was a man and two women. Yes. I believe. But the two women were in a relationship before they met that man. Yes. So he was interesting. He was the third which wheel. Which is quite interesting. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mm. So, um, a notary married the trio in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 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 Um, they're not the first try marriage. They're the second. And they did it to protect the future babies they will have, like by law. The law, yeah. By law. But it was only local law, wasn't it? So the yeah. uh, state, not state, state law? Yeah. Was that the word I want? Yes. I can't remember. <laughs> local council, council, not a law law. Not sure how it works in Brazil. I can't but remember. It's very, yeah, but it's very like what but law it, was it? Yeah, but it wasn't a marriage. It no. was technically a civil union. Yeah. Which was really cool. Was um cool. And... The babies, let's go into the babies. The bubba. It is artificial in artificial insemination. Mm -hmm. Which is a horrible word, insemination. Yeah, I don't like it. It's gross, isn't it? What it's else like can you say? The semening. The se the, the <laughs> semening. <laughs> the semening. Um, and and this is the good bit. The baby will take three surnames. Good luck trying to learn that at school. Right, and you're Brazilian. Oh, God. So they'll be like even more complex for our tongues. Maybe not theirs, obviously. Because they grow up there. That's the mother tongue. The mother tongue. But if we had to say, imagine, just imagine a teacher, if they ever came to England, and there's someone, or a teacher, or someone, has to pronounce their name, they would butcher it. Poor kid. Can you imagine it? Everywhere you go, doctors, opticians. Oh, yeah. Dentists. If you're a, yeah, yeah. Or if you became a doctor, like, doctor... Mm. People in this country struggle with Karina, so... Yeah, they, they struggle with foreign names, which is... It's not hard. Well, say that. Most of them are spelt how they're spelt and how they sound, <laughs> obviously. When I when I call people's names at work, yeah, oh. I, I have to guess. Sometimes if it's like if it's like a like a, a name I recognise and know yeah. how to say, and then another name, hmm. uh, I will go with the first name or nice. the second name, nice. Um, nice. Uh, and then I'll go and they'll always like to ask, "How do you say your second name or first yeah, yeah. name?" And then they'll say it, and I'm like. Oh, that's that not what I was going to say at all. I'm glad I bought it. Yeah, yeah, actually, it's good to know you were right. But not most people aren't offended if you get it wrong. No, if they know, they know it's awkward. But if you got three of them, oof, three oh, surnames. Hi, damn, you got no hope. Probably middle name as well. Oh, and a first name. Okay, but there's not enough. That's there's not enough names. room on on legal forms for that kind of stuff. It's a birth certificate, isn't it? That's insane. It's just a little line. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Double line. Oh, no. Hopefully they've it's got really short surnames. Yeah, like... Um, Two letters. Any Brazilian names at all. Like Smith. Yeah. Brazilian Smith. What's smaller than Smith? Smith. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's four letters. I don't think there is one. That's the... Ada? A-D-A? -A? Yeah. I know an Ada. There we go. That's three. There we go. Let's hope. Let's hope there's like Ada, Smee, and Moo. <laughs> okay, so it is me, Moo. I want my son to be Moo. Karina Moo. Karina Marie Moo. <laughs> oh, I like it. Yeah, Mrs. Moo. No, wait. <laughs> Mrs. Moo. Um, Miss Moo. You could, yeah. if you wanted to marry, if you wanted to change your name by marriage, yeah. But if you wanted to change it, it could be Miss Moo. Madam Moo. Oh. Madam Moselle. Lady Moo. I like it. Oh. Madam Moo is better. <laughs> Madam Moo is great. Duchess I sound Moo. either like a cartoon character. Or a massive cow. 
<laughs> you can't see this because we're recording, but Aaron gave me the filthiest look when he said that. <laughs> I think part of him believed that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> um, there'll be free wills written for the child, obviously. Oh, my. Okay. Actually, no, free, that's mad. That's mad. How's mad. that work? Um, the first one dies, gets the rules, I suppose. Oh. Like, first yeah. come, first served. Just the order of death, really. <laughs> wow. Yeah, weird. Oh, that's another thing. That's quite a sad thought. Mm. Having to mourn three parents Ugh. instead of two. Oh, man. That's sad, isn't it? Yeah. You're pretty used to it after the second. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got... It takes you longer to become an orphan, which is good. Yeah, bonus. Upside. <laughs> bonus round. Yeah, next year level. <laughs> next year level. Another go. So, um, it's, it's still legal, apart from the parental laws, because, unfortunately, um, the laws are quite backwards. And Brazil anyway. Mm. And you can't have three mothers. No. There has to be a father in there. Because biology. Wow. I suppose. Well, in the old fashioned sense. Yeah. A lot of laws are like that. Mm. My friend got married to um, a man who was Spanish. Mm. And they were deciding if they were going to take her surname, his surname. Yeah. He's got two surnames. Ooh. I know. Fancy pants. Exciting, exciting. So they're like, oh, we're going to have this one, we're going to have this one, we're going to have this one. And then they decided they were going to take. Uh, my friends, her yeah. surname. Oh, that's cool. Um, and then when they rang up the Spanish registry yeah. and said, "This is what we've decided," they were yeah. like, "No, you can't. Oh. She has to take your name, <gasps> otherwise it's not legally binding." Oh my god! Yeah, so she had to take his name. That's weird. I know. 2019, that's, so that's still happening. Weird. That's really but, odd. Yeah. Could she not take a name at all, or should you have to take the name? He couldn't take her name, not at all. But but could, do you think she could not take a name? No, because it still wasn't legal. <gasps> that's yeah. weird. I know. She God. still goes by her name, still. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, here. But, but legally. But, but legally on the marriage mm. paper, she is that name. How yeah. bizarre. I know. We were always really shocked. That's really like, weird. Because this country, you can just choose, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. my other friend, they they chose their own surname. So she oh, didn't take his. Up. He didn't take hers. How weird. And they made one up. No offence. How bizarre. Yeah. But kind of cool. Because now they're not connected by name to either of their families. Hmm. Mm. Which is a bit it's kind sad. kind of sad, right? Yeah. But then they've started their own... Legacy. Yeah. Legacy. There's four <laughs> of them now. That's pretty cool. As long as I keep going. Yeah. <laughs> it's a new legacy. That's oh, it's a cool. nice surname as well. What is it? Oh, no, don't say it. Tell me later. I'll tell you later. Thanks, mate. And then um, I'm going to end it, right? Yeah. With a couple of questions. Okay. It's a tiny little polyamory quiz. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay, I'm on board. Let me just, uh, one second. Bear with me. Good okay. preparation. So, I've got the other quizzes, the other questions. I should make another one on the spot, all right? Oh. All right? Yeah, that's fine. I like Exciting. spontaneity. Thank you. Okay, I'll do these ones first. Okay. So, what decade did the term polyamory emerge? Oh, can I ask a question about that question? Mm, yes. Is it... Within the last century. Yeah. Okay. So what decade so did the term polyamory emerge? Nineteen ten. Nineteen ten. Mm-hmm. As early as that. Yep. Okay, the term yeah. emerged polyamory yep. in nineteen nineties. Shut your mouth. No. You're kidding. I'm it, surprised by it that. It happened, but there was the term polyamory itself is new. So it didn't have a word for it? Yeah. Or was it? Wow. Yeah, it just happened. There's no word for it. 1990? Yeah. Yeah. What? Mm. I'm shocked. I don't know what they called them before that. No. But polyamory is a new term. I just love it. It's cool, eh? It's nice. Yeah. And the symbol's really cool, actually. Is it? It's a heart with an infinity symbol in it. Oh. Karina's in love. I'm in love. Karina loves it. Got a lot of love to give, guys. <laughs> and then, um... Since what decade have poly relationships been out in the open? I mean, if they only coined the term in the 90s, surely it's got to be the 2000s, like noughties. Um, 90s. I'm not saying they're called poly, poly relationships, but things like that have been out in the open. Oh, okay. Uh, I reckon it's a lot earlier then. Think free love. 60s? Yeah. 
big clue oh, there. Yeah. Nice. So they didn't care. They were quite open. Yeah. But they, the term polyamory wasn't coined until the 90s. So it was happening, but it didn't happen yeah. until the 90s. Free loving. Wow, so it took 30 years. So think of a name for it. Or maybe they did have a name, but it wasn't official. Maybe it was like bigamy. It's like horrible. <gasps> Oi. 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 Yeah, maybe. Maybe it was derogatory before yeah. they owned it. Or just free love. Yes. Nice. And then, a memory test for you. Yeah. Can you give me the third, no, the, the second, no, wait, the two remaining yeah. AKAs of poly relationships? Oh. Okay, so uh, we've got relationship anarchy. Yeah. The other two are. Open relationships. Yep. And this is a good one, my favourite word. Oh, I don't know. Polyfidelity. That's it. Good word, isn't it? Polyfidelity. I like that. Polyfidelity. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. But then it kind of suggests cheating. I thought that it was the opposite. Really? Yeah, polyfidelity. Oh, yeah, because infidelity is cheating, isn't it? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. So polyfidelity is when you're being fidel to someone else. I love being fidel. <laughs> I'll fidel you any day. <laughs> so, Thanks, um, me. Yeah. We hope we didn't bore you. Me, please. <laughs> I found it quite interesting. It was actually really fun. I, I enjoyed actually, it. I enjoyed it. We hope I'm, you learned something. I might be polyamorous. By there we go. Is. Karina's so. discovered that she wants to date me. Yes. And seven other men. And two ladies. <laughs> and a dog. And only a Labrador. I'm dating a dog? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That'll take a weird turn. It did. Okay, did. well. You need to go to bed. Yeah, I am. I'm. I'm up at, in the morning. I've got to be at work for seven. Oh, mate! I should leave. No. Okay, bye, everyone. No. Don't go. <laughs> Don't go. Bye, no. bye. 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 Bye.